Alright guys, I have here a video on YouTube called Symbolism and Iconography in Armenian Women Art. And um, I wanted to show this video uh, because of a few things actually, multiple things. Um, one of it is, this is a, be is a skill beyond measures, okay? I find this so fascinating. Um, the art, the skill that takes place of creating these rugs. If you ever watch videos, if you watch the way they're created, I've always said to myself that when I go to Armenia, this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, well, one of the things that I'm going to be doing there, especially if I ever get pregnant, like I'm completely dedicating myself to this art. I have this um, in my family, in my ancestors. My mother's grandmother, her name was Of Sanna, um, the one that escaped at 11 years old. Her um, her father owned acres of land in Marash. Um, they owned winery, and they hid in the cellar, down down in the cellar. They lived in there for a long time about seven years while the Ottoman invasion took place and I mentioned this if you go and watch my double helix video DNA double Hel helix series um, I tell you in brief stories uh, short stories that her sister um, when she was walking her heart was ripped out and her brother's heads were cut off and sent her in, in a box to her father that's her okay so Ovsana was one of the ones that escaped that's my mother's grandmother now, my mother's um, mother's sister, so my grandmother's sister is now living in Yerevan, okay? She, they moved to Yerevan. Um, sorry, not Yerevan, Gumri. And um, that's besides the point, but she used to, of Sanna, she used to do this, okay? So I always, I've always said that this is an art that I am so, so determined to do, but I, I need to do this in the motherland, not here. Uh, because I plan on actually, you know, as something tangible, creating... Anyways, I'm not going to say everything, but... On another note before I get this video started and I'd like for you to hear something. You know what, actually, let's just listen to this video, okay? There's certain things that he says that I want you to really pay attention to. Look at the swastika, by the way. That's the symbol I'm born under. If you look me up in the birth ch in a birth chart, astrolo all, blah, 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 astrological birth chart, if you put me in, you put in May 14, 1987, born... 12 21 p.m and you look me up as my birth chart you will see my symbol looks like that okay my birth chart geometric patterns geometric patterns flora and fauna flora and, and fauna the pictorial rugs okay pay attention among those three the oldest the most prototype of symbolism found in and woven rugs are vividly portrayed in geometric patterns. Geometric patterns. Okay. For the Armenian Christians, okay, our art, our DNA pre-existed Christianity, okay? Geometric patterns. Pay attention. If you are someone such as myself that has questioned your entire life as to why something repeats over and over and over and over and over, it is because it is in your DNA, right? This is a way our Armenian culture has left a legacy behind, okay? Symbolism. Symbolism. They even left it in the churches. Our churches are full of geometrical patterns, existing rug, the Pesrik rug, 
that phrase eight point star three design elements that we've mentioned above. However, the center most important element the direction rug is the star of Maggie, the so called the star of Maggie or the The Star of Maggie. What is Maggie? Maggie means magician, the magus. Open up your tarot cards. What is first? Aries. What is the first in astrological symbolism? Aries, the magus, the magician. If you look up the magician in the tarot, there's an eight-pointed star or an eternity, infinity sign above his head. The magi, the magus. And who is number two? The female interpretation of the magus is the high priestess. Okay? A Zoroastrian symbol, which is related to the wheel of eternity. The wheel of eternity. The wheel of eternity in Armenian designs have been used for millenniums. That's right. I mean, artists utilized many forms of Wheel of Eternity in their many various types of monumental arts, miniatures, needleworks, arts and crafts, in literature, also in Oriental drugs. The most varieties that we see of the Wheel of Eternity are found in Armenian drugs. The main basic foundation, the prototype of Wheel of uh, Eternity. See the Tree of Life, the DNA? The basis of Armenian rug symbolism. Mm. The Wheel of Eternity is an archetypal form symbol representing eternal life in its very eternal life history repeats itself going back to the beginning restarting redoing learning understanding human dna armenians have left secret messages your ancestors have left you secret messages through Armenian cultural art. And now you say that we are originally a Christian people. Where does Christianity come from? I don't have to say much, man. It's in front of your face. This forms, more generally, the will of eternity suggests movement, time recurrence, and universe. Time reoccurrence. Time reoccurrence. This is also a message to the Europeans because the Europeans are also an Indo Indo European culture. They're they they are from the Indo they are from us. It is the same DNA. You see how the artwork is very similar from Nordic to Celtic. The spirals, the swastika. The wheel, the cross. Uh, the connection with the Yezidi religion. On that note, I'm going to show you a picture. Okay. Can't see because of the dark. One second. The symbol of eternity connects the number eight. Yeah, that's right. My life path Compress number. <laughs> one second. Okay. All right. 
Now, I'm going to show you this. This man over here with the Kurdish looking hat. Okay. This man over here. This is, uh, you're looking at a Fedai. Okay. This is my great grandfather. He is from, he was born and raised in the region of Sasun. Western Armenia, what is now known as Turkey, the Batman city. He was a Fedai. He was an excellent Fedai. He was never permanently caught. He escaped Ottoman prisons with a wooden stick. He swam under the Black Sea and he escaped. Okay. Part of his power was his initiation of the Yazidis. Okay. He was, he was brought up and raised. His best friend was a Yazidi. He, if you understand anything in the Sasun region, the Sasun district, there was a lot of Kurds and there were a lot of Yazidis. In that region, in that, in Western Armenia, there were a lot of Yazidi temples, okay? But you have to also understand that during the Ottoman invasion, during the plot of killing off the Armenians, the Kurds, the Islamic Kurds, betrayed the Armenians and the Yazidis, okay? But the Yazidis have always helped the Armenians. They helped prevent Armenian women from, uh, at that time, from slavery, sex slavery, and uh, marriages, okay? With the Islamic people. So, um, his best friend was a Yazidi. And that those regions were full of those people, okay? Now... Is, is, Sasun is full of Kurdish people, but his best friend was Yazidi. My great grandfather was was a excellent in the Kurdish language. He spoke very, 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 very excellent Kurdish. Um, the Yazidis speak a Kurdish language. Okay, they are also children, men of the sun, and. The way the Yazidi faith works is your best friend reincarnates into your DNA. Um, you choose yourself a friend and you choose yourself a partner religiously, which is they were a brotherhood, okay? Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that, okay? And the Sasun district, the way they spoke Armenian was very much uh, different than the rest of Western Armenian language, okay? But I just thought I'd share that because, remember, time reoccurrence, okay? Uh, my great-grandfather is, is ver around me a lot. Um, other mediums have sensed it without me even telling them. Um, he never leaves. He is very determined to see his hard work manifest. He feels a very strong passion towards the Yazidi people and what has been done to them. Um, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to play this again so we could hear the rest of it. What happened here? Miracle representation found in the majority of subsequent Armenian rugs. The oldest example of the Wheel of Eternity was no, found in tree a of life. central place. And DNA. Dating to 8000 BC. Since then, Armenian artists have been the only... If you go and watch my uh, tea leaf readings, you'll find that these symbols are very similar, okay? If you go and watch my video, one of the... If it, I don't know how far you want to go back and you'll find these... Symbols very, very accurate in the cup. But the recent one I did is uh, September 4 to September 10. There was a person like this, except the leg was up. And I was talking about ballerina or dances or culture, you know. It's very much connected. Only ones, only ones to 
to use the wheel of eternity consistently and continually for several millennia. Variations of this motif have become central in the design of many Armenian art. Now, before I continue, there have been people in um, that I've met in the Sharon Temple that are intuitive. And uh, mind you, I'm in a group of authors and publishers, okay? So people who write are very intuitive. They have exceptional intuitive abilities, okay? So when they've met me, when they've seen me, they've all said, Talar, you have Celtic origins. You have Celtic bloodline. Yes and no is my answer to that, okay? My family bloodline is not originally Celtic. What they're seeing is it was my family bloodline that moved in those areas and created the civilizations, okay? We're, we're talking a long time ago. Um, the Celtic knot is very, very, very much connected into the Khachkars, the Armenian Khachkars. If you look at the our Stonehenges, they all have the same symbologies, okay? Including rugs, lace, needlework, illuminated manuscripts, ancient frescoes. Did you see the solar, the lunar and the solar? Hold on. Lace, needlework, illuminated manuscripts. See that? The moon and the sun, feminine, masculine, lunar, the eight-pointed wheel, tree of life, okay, this is your DNA, the four corners of the earth, the four elements, spirit, it's all around you, okay, it's all around. Ancient frescoes miniature paintings, applied arts, monumental art, and more. Notable modern usages includes emblem in the coat of arms of ruling political party, as decoration of the sacred Armenian alphabet on the large obelisk overlooking the capital Yerevan, on the of arms of the also, I'd like to note, the Armenian alphabet is a very modern alphabet compared to the culture per se. But if you really study the Armenian alphabet, you will find that there are swastikas hidden in each alphabet of the, Ar of the Armenian letters, okay? If you, if you really, really look within, the way the, each alphabet is shaped is connected to the swastika. on logos of countless Armenian companies and on the coat of arms of the Armenian of Armenian noblemen. Several patterns known as solar symbols is led for us to now know what Wheel of Eternity is. That's right. The familiar Wheel of Eternity or the, the solar symbol. symbol. Did you hear what he said? The solar symbol allows us to really now understand. I mean, the, that, sorry, the symbol of eternity, the wheel of eternity now allows us to understand that is a symbol of the solar. The solar, the men of the sun, going back to the Yazidis, going back to the Indo-European Hinduism. Okay, remember, Yazidi religion is the name of the religion, not necessarily of the people, in its origins. It's just like saying Armenian Muslims. It's just like saying Armenian Christians. That's not your origin as a people. It's a religion that turns the people, if that makes any sense. So time reoccurrence, going back, repeat. Cheers, eight spokes. Eight rays or eight sides. Armenian ancestors believe that the number eight, eight symbolizes regeneration. Symbolizes regeneration. Okay, the number eight symbolizes regeneration. My life path number is the number eight, eternity. 
Going back to the magician. Remember what he said, the Magi, the Magus. Connected to the high priestess. Connected to my life purpose. This is why I always say to everybody, all these guys that are have been trying to get with me, you don't have a chance, okay? You don't have a chance because my life purpose will not allow you <laughs> to live, <laughs> okay? Honestly, are you the head of a mafia? Are you the head of a military commanding force? Unless you are. There's no way that you can have a chance because the amount of things that are going to unfold. Mathematical and symmetrical patterns. Mathematical and symmetrical patterns. Okay. Remember, everything I do is in numbers, it's in codes, and it's in frequencies. Everything I say, everything I do... Remember when I was what when I explained since I was 14 years old I used to always ask the universe why what is the point of my life why am I here and all of a sudden I'd see number 7 everywhere 7 followed by another 7 followed by another 7 there was no google then there was none of that stuff then for me to research this stuff Pay attention guys Maintaining a strict form Remember 7 means spirituality analytical thought Esoteric knowledge, mysticism, religion, scientific uh, creations. Eight, reoccurring themes, patterns. Pay attention, okay? Can be broken down into parts or elements. Look at that symbol. Look me up in my birth chart. That is exactly what my birth chart looks like. May 14, 1987, 1221 p.m., born in Scarborough, Ontario. I am not afraid. I am not shy. You can look me up. You can analyze. You can find out. That come together and form one single symbol. That come together and form one symbol. In the Bible, there is a cherub. Cherubim, right? Astrologically aligned with faces. Astrologically aligned with Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. An eagle, a lion, a bull, and a man. If you look up the tarot, the Wheel of Fortune, and um, remember the wheel, eh? Pay attention to the wheel. Um... And there's the other one, the Wheel of Fortune. I don't know, it's not coming to me. You guys know when, you know, it's another major arcana. The astrological signs is Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Okay, interlocked, coming again. begins with legs or arms that often double from 2 to 4, mm. 8, 16, and even turn into spokes or waves, which are intricately interwoven into a... For people who've got the Celtic uh, heritage, look at these symbols, okay? These predates the Celtic uh, symbols. Do you not have all these? Symbol of eternity. Symbol of the eternity. May vary and can include stars or wheels made of hot numbers. Symbols associated with number eight were seen in medieval Armenia from church murals, tombstones, holy scriptures, cross stones. That's a chachka. Look at the symbols. The symbols are also found throughout traditional Armenian art. Kings. Such as in the oldest seals of Armenian kings from the kingdom That's of Yerebuni. Mitanni. Second millennium. Seal, kingdom of Mitanni. Well on the crown of the Armenian king of Arthur. Kingdom of Mitanni, which is where... Um, 
the Egyptian queen was from. The beautiful one has come. She was originally from the kingdom of Mitanni. The wife of uh, the Ak Aten. The word swastika comes from Sanskrit word swastika. Sanskrit. Or Gerhach in Armenian. Derhach. Remember, the Armenian language and the Sanskrit language is exceptionally similar. In the springtime, uh, the way I am, why I'm saying the springtime is because I went to visit my dad's graveyard. And on my way, I was hungry when I left. So I went to an Indian restaurant. I love Indian food, if you guys know me. And I walked into this restaurant. It was called Agra. Okay, A-G-R-A. In Armenian, the word agra means teeth. There is a lot of words that they use that we use. Okay, agra, banir. These are all Sanskrit and it's also Armenian. Um, arun. Arun means blood in Armenian. I can go on and on. There's so many words. So many, so many, so many. Remember, I wanted to tell you something. The four corners of the earth. That's what this also symbolizes. The four fucking corners. That is why you'll find these symbols all over the freaking world. It origins from somewhere, but it takes over in all areas. Remember, every kingdom, they are cousins. They are related. It's like me getting married. It's like my cousin getting married, my brother getting married, and we each take over a place, a continent, a country, and other areas of the world. But we are all leaving a legacy. We are all of the same bloodline. It literally means and translates into an affirmation. It is. Life is good. There is value. There is meaning. Other than Nazi Germany's connection with it, the swastika actually affirms the positive values of life. The design is still used in many countries. The Armenian Wheel of Eternity was used not only in rugs, but also in the ancient national craft of carving cosmic crosses in stone. These sacred relics are known as hachkars, or Armenian cross stones and are inscribed in the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage of Humanity. According to UNESCO, they act as a focal point for worship, as memorial stones and relics facilitating communication between the secular and the divine. They have an ornamentally carved cross in the middle resting on the symbol of a sun or will of eternity. The Hajkar is believed to possess holy powers and can provide help, protection, victory, long life, remembrance, and meditation towards salvation of the soul. Mm. The importance of the will of eternity to Armenian people and to Armenian nation is confirmed by its widespread usage even today. After the tragic events of the Armenian Genocide in 1915... After the tragic events of the Armenian Genocide, history repeats itself. Where the more we are massacred, the more of a chance we will come back and recreate, like, the symbol of eternity, the wheel of eternity, Time reoccurrence, going back to the beginning like the Magus and the High Priestess, and start all over again and take over the four corners of the earth. Come to the 